Hello, I'm Pete. The jury rigging perk exists in Fallout New Vegas to allow players to maintain their favorite weapons and armor using similar lower tier items that they might find. But an interesting side effect is that you can also use it to make infinite caps very quickly, which you can then spend on whatever you like. Continue watching this video to find out how. The jury rigging perk is available from level 14 and requires your repair skill to be at least 90, so you will need to have prepared for this by putting a lot of points into repair when leveling up previously. So a top tier weapon or suit of armor that is in poor condition may only be worth a few hundred caps and a bottom tier weapon or suit of armor that's in good condition will be worth the same. But when you combine the two together using jury rigging, you suddenly have something that's worth 10 times as much. Sell that and you've made a tidy profit. Note that you can do something a bit similar to this earlier in the game before you have this perk. Weapon repair kits can increase the value of a weapon by much more than the value of the weapon repair kit itself. However, the supply of the components used to craft a weapon repair kit will rapidly become the bottleneck. This also doesn't work on armor, and as you'll see later, armor is one of the best ways to exploit this perk. To take advantage of the jury rigging perk's ability to earn infinite caps, you firstly need to know what pairings of items work really well. Some of the categories are very broad. For example, all one-handed melee weapons fall into one category for the purpose of jury rigging. Other categories are a bit more narrow. I've filled this container here with all of the items that will be worth a lot once repaired and this container with the items that I'm going to sacrifice. A good place to start if you don't have many caps is with melee weapons. So let's have a look at one-handed ones first. I also want to show you that I've currently got 2,612 caps. That's our starting point. So I'm going to start with this shish kebab, which I bought from the Great Khan Armourer for 518 caps. And we're about to get that up to 2,500 in no time and with very little investment. So for this, we're going to want to take a bottom tier one-handed melee weapon like a knife or a straight razor. The value of this one is currently six caps. So first we want to spend a few caps to get our cheap weapon repaired up to a good condition. There are various people around the Mojave who you can pay to do this, including Knight at the Mojave Outpost and Old Lady Gibson at the Gibson Scrapyard just north of Novak. I have a mod installed that allows me to do it from the comfort of my own home. Now you won't always necessarily want to do this step, but I'll go into a little bit more detail on that in a minute. So the repair interface will look like this. So note that the cost of this repair job isn't affected by your skill levels in any way. So it's actually really easy to calculate how much this will cost. You just take the difference between the value of the item right now and the value after the repair is completed and then double that. So a knife, which costs 20 caps when it's in perfect condition, would cost a maximum of 40 caps to repair up fully. This one here is going to cost us 22. Having done this, now go into your inventory Select the good item, the one you want to repair up fully. Press R or whatever the equivalent is, and then select the cheap one. There you go, we now have a shish kebab that's worth 2,500 caps and it's ready to be sold. Now note that you won't necessarily be able to sell the shish kebab for the full 2,500. In this game, the amount you get when selling an item will depend upon your barter skill. But I should still be able to sell this for at least 1,600 caps to pretty much any vendor in the Mojave who has enough caps to afford it. Now, one thing you will notice is that I have got a lot of knives and relatively few things to repair with them. This is one of those situations where I might skip the step where I spend some caps to repair up the knife. As a result of that, I would end up needing to use multiple knives to get the higher tier weapon, in this case the shish kebab, up to full condition. So, in the one-handed melee weapon category, the best weapons to repair are the shish kebab, machete gladius, ripper and combat knife, and the best weapons to sacrifice are the rolling pin, cleaver, knife, straight razor, switchblade, and tire iron. Let's look at two-handed melee weapons next. Same principle. We take a bumper sword, which is currently worth 632 caps, and we take a pool cue. We don't have many of these. This is currently worth three caps. We spend 20 caps to get the pool cue repaired up to full condition, and then we repair them together. The bumper sword now, like the shish kebab, worth 2,500 caps. You can find pool cues on Fiends, and there are also loads of pool cues in Vault 3. In this category, the best weapons to repair are the Super Sledge, Fire Axe, Bumper Sword, and Chainsaw, and the best weapon to use to repair them is the pool cue. Now, I've shown you the steps involved. I'll move through some of the other weapon categories a little bit quicker. This isn't a fully exhaustive list, but it covers the most common cases you might encounter. The unarmed weapons Ballistic Fist and Displacer Glove can be repaired with Brass Knuckles, Bladed Gauntlet, or Spiked Knuckles. A Plasma Defender. 
such as this one that I bought in poor condition from the Great Khan Armourer, or a recharger pistol can be repaired with a laser pistol or a plasma pistol. A tri-beam laser rifle can be repaired with a regular laser rifle, and a gauss rifle or multi plas rifle can be repaired with a recharger rifle. All one-handed conventional guns occupy the same category. In this category, the 12.7mm pistol, hunting revolver, 44 magnum revolver, and 10mm submachine gun are the most valuable, and the 9mm pistol, 0.357 magnum revolver, and silenced 2.2 pistol the least. In two-handed automatic guns, you'll probably find yourself wanting to repair riot shotguns, light machine guns, marksman carbines, 12.7mm submachine guns, sniper rifles, and assault carbines with service rifles. For bolt, lever, and pump action guns, anti-material rifles, brush guns, trail carbines, hunting shotguns, hunting rifles, and lever action shotguns can be repaired with varmint rifles and single shotguns. So that covers the most common weapon combinations that you will find useful. So I've now run out of caps from repairing weapons, but even so, I've still got many tens of thousands of caps worth of high tier weapons in my inventory. So the next step is to know where to sell them. So now let's run through some of the best merchants for selling these items around the Mojave. Their inventories will refresh after a few days, so once you've cleared them all out of caps, you may need to wait a while until they have more. When visiting merchants, keep an eye out for Salesman Weekly magazines. These temporarily boost your barter skill, and so when you're buying and selling in huge quantities like this, they quickly pay for themselves. But do note that the function for determining prices from your barter skill is not a continuous curve. It jumps every 20 points. So a Salesman Weekly is only worth taking if it would push your barter skill past the next multiple of 20. Also, keep an eye out for high-tier weapons in poor condition, as they then become the seed for the next batch of jury rigging. If you're accepted by the Great Khans, you can sell weapons to their armourer. The disadvantage of this merchant is they don't have many caps, and they are a little bit of a walk from the nearest fast travel marker. However, they buy and sell items at a one-to-one -one ratio, which means you can always get the full value for any item, regardless of your barter skill. They also stock lots of ammo, and some weapons in poor condition. Alexander, in the underpass at the 188, does have a decent amount of caps, but you need to be able to pass a gun's skill check in order to be able to trade with him. Note that the weapons that he sells are always in perfect condition, so there is no point buying weapons here in the hopes of fixing them up to sell later. There is also another merchant very nearby, just on the top of the overpass, called the Arms Merchant. They also have a decent amount of caps, but are only available during the day. Quartermaster Barden at Hoover Dam has not many caps, but he does have a lot of ammo. The downside is he's quite a bit of a walk from the nearest fast travel marker and quite hard to find. You also need to be accepted with the NCR and to be able to pass a speech check of 50 in order to be able to deal with him. He does also sell some weapons in poor condition, which might be useful for the next round of jury rigging. Blake at the Crimson Caravan Company has lots of caps and does often sell weapons and combat armor in poor condition, which are going to be useful later on. He also sells magazines, so again, keep an eye out for Salesman Weeklies if you see any. Cliff Briscoe at Novak has very few caps, but he does stock some good, unique weapons, and he will sell to you at a one-to-one -one ratio if you have an idolized reputation in Novak. Contreras, at the back of Camp McCarran, does have plenty of caps, and also sells combat armor in poor condition. However, he is a really long walk from the nearest fast travel marker. Lacey at the Mojave Outpost has a decent amount of caps. Old Lady Gibson at the Gibson Scrapyard has lots of caps and also stocks the items for making weapon repair kits, and she doesn't mind if you wake her up in the middle of the night. And finally, Vendatron at the Gunrunners has loads and loads of caps, but do note that again, similar to Alexander, the weapons that they sell are always in perfect condition, so there's no point buying them here in the hopes of fixing them up to sell later. And they also sell Combat Armor Reinforced Mark II in poor condition, which is going to be very important to us later. The mod I mentioned earlier does allow me to access Vendatron from the comfort of my own apartment, which is nice. So I'm now up to about 6,000 caps. I remember I started the episode at about 2,000. Once you've made some starting money from guns, you'll want to move on to Combat Armor, because that's where you can really start to exploit the jury rigging perk and make caps fast. To do this, first you'll need lots of cheap medium armour, and basically the only way to get this is by killing lots of NCR soldiers. If you sneak your way around Camp McCarran, or any other well-populated NCR camp, with a powerful melee or an armed weapon, you can get loads of this armour in no time. 
As long as you're hidden and you kill your target in one shot with a silent weapon, you'll generally not alert anyone, but it's still worth saving before each attempt. It's also worth leaving named NPCs alive, as killing them might cause a quest to fail. And make sure to empty your inventory of all but the essentials before you start, as it will fill up fast. Companions can help here, but most of them won't carry NCR armour, so if you're needing some help with moving that around, Boone is your fella. As I stand among the bodies of the people I've killed just to make more money than I know what to do with, I find myself asking, am I the baddie? And the answer is yes, I am Nestle Levels of Evil. With the main difference being that this is just a computer game and not real life. These people will respawn and nobody will remember that any of this happened. So, with an inventory full of NCR armour and probably lots of service rifles into the bargain, go get it all repaired up at your preferred repair merchant. Next, you want to find or purchase some Combat Armour Reinforced, Combat Armour Reinforced Mark II, and Recon Armour in poor condition. As I mentioned earlier, there are a few vendors that reliably sell these. They will cost a few thousand caps to buy, but you should already have some caps from selling weapons. And again, this is a probably a good opportunity to use a salesman weekly to improve your barter skill. Repairing the Combat Armour with the NCR Armour, using exactly the same approach as for weapons, should get you a net profit of at least 3,000 caps a time, depending upon your barter skill. And because these merchants' inventories are constantly restocking, you can keep on doing this as many times as you like. Jury rigging also allows you to repair pretty much any two items of headgear together, which means that a second-hand combat helmet reinforced Mark II quickly becomes worth 1,500 caps once you repair it with any junk hat or helmet. So there we go, I started this video with about 2,000 caps and a few broken weapons that I looted from enemies in passing, and I now have over 12,000 caps and still some combat armor to sell which will get me at least 6,000 caps got loads of stuff back at home still to sell hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful please subscribe for more fallout new vegas stuff bye bye